Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be taking a look at the PlayStation Vita 3.30 update. This update just came up on October 1st and it adds some cool features. Not a lot of features, but some some things that I actually have been waiting for a good while. One of the features or the most noticeable one will be the ability to change the themes on your PlayStation Vita. So very easy steps. Uh, nothing really hard but just in case you're having a hard time to, to, to find them it'll be very simple uh, there's no themes available right now in the PlayStation Store I already looked I'm pretty sure they're gonna be adding them through the week or in the next few days you're gonna be able to buy some themes and some of them are gonna be free like they always have been on the PSP and on the PlayStation 3 um, you're gonna go to settings to be able to change your theme you're gonna go to settings and uh, you're gonna notice a new uh, a new tab right away you scroll down a little bit and you're gonna see this new tab called theme and background so you're gonna click on theme and backgrounds and you're gonna get your options you're gonna get your start, start screen and home screen options to change the backgrounds and the screen uh, you, you were able to do this already you were able to change your start screen uh, but it's gonna be easier now you don't have to go to the image that you want to get you can just go here and apply it to your lock screen if you want uh, I'm pretty sure other other lock screens are gonna appear, appear here, depending if you have some um, some other teams installed or not. I'm pretty sure all the other lock screens for the teams are gonna appear right here. Uh, the home screen backgrounds. Uh, there's not necessary for you to go here to um, to change your home screen backgrounds. You can do that like you always have done it. So no change in that. But you're gonna see the theme, the theme uh, tab right here. You're gonna click that, and there's no themes right now, like I said. But when you do style the themes, uh, right now it's just the default. But you're gonna be able to see the other themes next to the default ones. If you click them, uh, you're gonna be able to see that um, there is that it shows you or gives you preview of what the theme it's gonna look like. But one of the things about the themes is that it's not only gonna change your background or your lock screen it's actually actually gonna completely change your your uh the way your icons look and the background music if you have it on or if it, or if it's activating your playstation beta the background music will change as well with uh with the theme another cool feature that i'm actually into it and i'm actually probably going to use it it's ability to share your events on the calendar so you to create an event, pretty much choose a date, hold it, and you'll get the uh, you'll get this little notification right here. Uh, I'm just gonna put this a little bit. Sorry about that. And you're gonna choose a title. You're gonna fill up all the blanks. You're gonna choose a date. You're gonna choose a uh, a time. You're gonna choose notifications. And uh, when you scroll down, you're gonna see another tab or another choice that says player. So if you want to make an event, let's say you want to make a, a multiplayer party or you want to make uh, a multiplayer event where you say, let's, if you want to play Destiny or any other game and you want to let your friends, if you want to let your friends know in advance that you're doing an event. So just create the event and invite all your friends. You just click friends and you're going to be able to invite all as many friends as you want to that event. They're going to know. And that's something really cool. I, I think that it will be useful for me because if I want to stream or if I'm uploading a video now, I want to let you know guys that I'm doing it. Uh, you can see that event and you'll see the time and you'll see the web link or the location. So I think that's like something really cool. Another feature that I didn't see as very big would be the would be the ability to see the rarity of your trophies. Uh, I really didn't see any changes. Um, if anybody notices anything, please let me know in the comment section because I really didn't see any changes. It's supposed to let you know how rare your uh, trophies are. So I'm clicking on the trophies. Can't really see much on them. There you go. So as you can see right here, nothing really changes. It just tells you how to unlock them, but um, it doesn't really it doesn't really tell you the rarity of them yet yeah, I don't know what was the, the change on this but I couldn't find anything about it anyways the, new, the other new two features are pretty cool 
I'm pretty sure there's some stability uh, st stability changes as well on the gameplay and other other features of the PlayStation Vita. But these two these two features are pretty cool. When the teams do come out, I'll make a video and I'll show you how it looks. You know, just in case you need a little bit of help with that. This is gonna be all for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked the little walkthrough on the PlayStation Vita 3.30 and stay posted for the next video. And uh, bye bye.